Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to be working on making some pockets. Um, these are inspired by Roxy's Weekly Challenge for this year. I believe it was week five. Um, she did these and um, I have decided to um, make some myself because I thought they were really cute. Uh, they are made out of envelopes so I'm going to show you how I made them and what I'm going to decorate them with is if you saw my last haul with my books um, you saw that I got um, some great old books. So I've decided to use uh, parts of those um, to decorate them. So I have taken um, apart um, some of the uh, 1734 pages. I've gotten those. I have, I've created one already. I have that page on there. Um, I've got, I uh, took a little bit apart of the uh, A.A. Milne poetry storybook. Um, I think there's some very um, cool pictures that could go on these. And I took some a part of my uh, combo music word ones, which we call. These papers are pretty brittle, so they're definitely going to have to go completely glued down. Versus, I've already worked with these, and boy, these things are probably withstand why they're 300 years old. You know, everything. They're so strong. Um, and then I have a few of the pages that are from the uh, Danish book I have. Um, I did use uh, one of the pages already to make those. Um, they're not too bad. Um, uh, so I put those on the bottom of that and um, I wanted to um, put the really old paper on the top because um, I didn't want it covered as much because I thought it was very uh, very cool so um, that one went on top these went on the bottom because I'm um, just um, not as cool <laughs> um, and I didn't mind covering them up as much um, so the other part of the um, tags or pockets you would call it um, are going to have some sort of uh, fun floral thing so the ones that I got these from these uh, few pages are from a kit that I got from uh, uh, Leanna scraps l-i-a-n-a scraps and um, I printed a whole bunch of this one kit out that I have um, I'll kind of just flip through it real quick here um, but it's just the heck was that oh <laughs> one of those pages got stuck in there um, um, they're just some beautiful florals. Um, it's, this is one kit. Uh, um, I think when I ended up printing it, it was uh, 50 pages uh, for this. But um, there's some that are um, divided in half, and there's some that are full. Uh, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to use these as part of the um, floral. But then I also pulled some other kind of florals um, that I could possibly use, um, some Florentine paper. Um, I believe these are from Artsology. I got some Florentine paper. Oh my God, this random one. Uh, I thought would be kind of cool to put with the book page. This I found. I don't know if this is big enough. Um, yeah, it looks like it would be. But some words with other words could be cool. Um, yeah, so um, that's what I pulled for those um, to make that. So let me um, let me show you how um, I. Um, created the uh, envelopes. Now I have gone through, I got one ready to go next. I have gone through and uh, made a whole bunch, as you can see, uh, ready to go, but I'm gonna show you how I did them. Now I have taken, you could probably find those envelopes that you get is um, in the mail, the return envelope with the window, um, but I have a whole bunch of, this thing has water damage on it, but I'm not worried about using it. I have a bunch of envelopes that are more, um, that are new, basically, that have never been used, no windows, and um, uh, I'm not sure why I have all that. I have like three different styles here. Uh, small flap, taller flap, triangle flap, um, but all of them work uh, easily. So I'm gonna show you how I ended up doing these um, to make um, these pockets. All right, so we're gonna get rid of that lovely thing. Um, I probably could lick it because it's new, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not gonna put you through that. So we're gonna just go ahead and glue these flaps down. And while I'm gluing, I'm gonna ask how you're doing. Hopefully you're all well. I am doing well today. Um, this is a nice big flap here. There we go. Nice bright sunny day out there. Did a quick errand to the post office this morning. Dropped a couple Etsy orders off. Um, 
try to get the last couple days in here while it's still a little bit warm. Because that cold air is coming again. Alright. So I am pulling the edge of both the top and the flap here. Um, just so that we I know that it's definitely hooked in there. Okay. Alright, so... Um, now this is something that you could definitely mass make a whole bunch of. And I did that, like I said, off camera. I made all these, it probably took a whole, you know, 10 minutes at the most. Um, but I didn't wanna, didn't wanna do all of them on camera because they get kind of repetitive, but I just wanna show you the three styles I had. All right, so once they're glued, we are going to cut them completely open. And I'm gonna try to do this three. I don't know if I can get three. Um, I'm just gonna skim off ever so slightly, just the little, little list bit to save most of the envelope. Okay, hopefully those all cut through being that I did three at a time, just trying to save time. But um, So they are, um, they should be open um, all the way through. Hello. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to cut the two ends. Now, um, some people, you could go through and um, cut like this. I find when I do that, it doesn't really cut very well. Um, it always seems to cut off one side or the other. Um, so I like to, and I don't, um, I like to just um, take uh, the edge of the scissors and ever so slightly cut the edge of the envelope off. I think I need to sharpen these scissors. But you can see, it's just a fine, like, basically, barely a hair that I'm cutting. I could probably cut a little bit more, but the more you cut off, the skinnier your pocket's going to be. Um, but I find that if I do this, there's not as many jagged uh, cuts on there. That's all that I cut off, and it's cut. I also saw this morning and hopefully it hasn't changed because uh, one time I did this and it kind of backfired on me but I saw that I had hit 1500 subscribers this morning when I woke up I was like quite excited over that I was like wow how cool is that so uh, welcome to all my newest subscribers um, I hope you enjoy what you see on the channel and if you ever have any requests on something you'd like to see, something um, uh, you'd like to see demonstrated. Um, I uh, always take ideas. Um, so leave it in the comments if you ever see something or a question about something. Okay, so all that came off of those envelopes. Not a ton. Okay, make sure that one got cut. And oh, just the edge. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to, I'm just gonna fold um, maybe a couple of these, and I'll have to fold them all since I have a ton. Um, now, you can do it two ways. I'm gonna do this first one, where you just fold, uh, you know, not even half an inch, just up a little bit on both sides. Totally your preference. And then you fold it up, again, your preference. I say about a third. So I figure however big that is, that big is. However that big it is, that, oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, um, now here's where I differ from how um, Rachel at Roxy's Creation did it. Um, she opened it up and she cut this flap off. Um, now, I've decided to keep them on. So what I do is I open it up and fold it back at the fold. And I'm just gonna snip off from the fold here just to leave some of that bulk. Just snip off the corner there. Okay, so basically it's done that. Now, like I said, what she did is she would cut this part off and then bring this around and fold it under. But I say to myself, um, uh, cutting takes a while. I mean, it doesn't take that long, but um, I say give it some strength Throw a little glue on there, fold it in. This is gonna get covered anyway. So, um, 
why not give it a little bit of strength on the side of the pocket? So put it in and fold it over and um, there we go. It is done. All right, so let's do the next one. Now, some of these that I glued um, have bits of flappy things, I would call them, that are not glued in the actual envelope when they make them. So I kind of make sure, go through and uh, make sure all those little flappy bits are glued down, just so that things don't get caught. So. Now, if you don't trust your folding um, to make it even, which I don't totally trust mine either because it's hard to do, um, you can use a scoreboard. I'm gonna grab mine upside down. Now, of course, I don't have a big enough one, so I'm gonna have to flip it, but um, if you have the full 12 inch, you can do it. Um, my choice was um, 3 eighths, so I do the uh, th third line, one, two, three. Um, so I do the third line, and I'm gonna flip it because I can't go all the way down and do the third line. And we're just gonna flip it. And we're gonna flip it. Okay, so now I've got, hard to tell, but now I've got score marks on each side of uh, the envelope. So there's that side, and there is that side. Okay, now we're just gonna do again. We're gonna fold it up about a third of the way. So that is equal to that, roughly. I'm gonna open it up and refold it back onto itself and do a little snip and do a little snip. And we're gonna go and glue and we're gonna go and glue okay now I can see this again it was one of those flappy bits that decided it wanted to not be together that one's fine okay so we're gonna uh, kind of reminds me of a little soldier doesn't it <laughs> I'm not sure why. Okay. And uh, there you go. There is another one, all glued down. Um, so I'm gonna show you this one, um, one more here. This one, this envelope was a little bit thicker. This one, I had one that was kind of like this one. Um, this one was a little thicker. So when I folded it, it was A little harder to fold. Probably should have scored this, but we're just gonna go with the flow. And I'm gonna track down the bone folder. Where are you, bone folder? There you are. Alright. Now, on a couple of these, I did fold them the other way. I have the security part um, on the top. Um, I don't know. It was one of those things that just happened. I was like, oh. but it doesn't really matter, I don't think, because either way, you, we are covering um, this part and that part. So being uh, white to cover or security to cover, I, I don't think it matters at all. It just happened to, I was watching watching a YouTube video and folding unconsciously, and I was like, oh, it's backwards, but it worked okay. All right, so on those previous ones, I would fold these under and glue. Now this um, this side is not as thick as this side. So on the ones that were like this, I did decide um, to do it the Rachel way, and that is to cut off uh, the flaps. So I'm just gonna follow the best I can that line. And you can see what I'm talking about. This kind of leaves, I missed this one and I still have the ridge there versus how I don't have the ridge on the other side. I'm trying to do this. There we go. And we'll cut this side. Now, in, in the end, it probably does not matter whatsoever. Oh, I completely missed that part. Um, if 
um, it's exactly straight or a little crooked um, because it's getting covered. So I don't know if it matters or not, but it probably, uh, to me, it takes less time to uh, to, the, to um, pull those in and throw a swipe of glue on there and fold it down. But either way, you want to do it will work um, for that. So, all right. So I got a couple more that I can fold later. I'm just gonna put these to the side because I think we have enough. <laughs> all right, so for decorating. Now, um, I, I found this piece of um, paper and it was, I don't know, something like that. Oh, I don't know. There it is. Um, <laughs> it was a big square piece of paper where I cut this down and um, I thought this would work great up here. And then this piece, um, when I cut it down here, I thought it was a perfect size for a tag. So I ended up putting one of my 1733 papers on there and uh, just rounded the corner, folded it over so I still had some of that showing. Um, so I'm going to attach this to here, be able to use this as a tag, and I'll put something on the bottom. All right, so for this, I'm just gonna throw some glue on here. I probably could have put it on the back of, and I probably should have, because now I don't know how far this goes down, uh, on the back of this, and I went way too far down, but Okay, I'm gonna do my best to line this up. And I do like using the stick glue because it was a little bit off, so I was able to slide it into place. All right, so we're just gonna, just gonna dry some of that glue that I did wrong before I fold it up. Okay, all right. Now for that part. Now I was thinking, that's kind of fancy. And I was thinking I might use one of the, one of these book pages. I kind of think this king and queen dancing is kind of fun. So I think I'm gonna use this. And all right. save that poem for something else and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and center him and then cut the rest off after he's glued keep the number on there and then cut the sides off later because I don't want to make it too short okay all right so we're gonna throw some stick glue on here so it slides if I need to Let's do it this way. All right, so I can see that he's pretty well centered and up at the top. Okay. Now I could have um, glued it to the side too and then rolled it over, um, but I'm just gonna ever so carefully cut that off and cut that side off not cutting the envelope because we don't want to get rid of the flaps and we can definitely use those to stamp an ink I'll save that over there okay all right so that's cute right probably could have dropped it down a little bit but all of those words were there all right let's get the bottom trimmed off should throw a little thumb hole in this. Not the worst idea in the world. Just gonna ink the edges because a little bit of white showing and don't want to put too much of a thumb hole on there. Don't want to you know cut his crown off or anything. <laughs> Dethrone the king. 
All right, and for these tops, um, I felt like rounding them was a good idea. I'm using the middle, middle size. There we go. And we'll just ink these. What is that sitting on? Oh, it's sitting on the cap. We're going to wrap this around and glue it in the back. Now what you could do too, if you wanted to, you could throw some glue on there um, and get, it would give it more of a, uh, that, but um, I think it's just as easy to wrap it around and glue it in the back. Yeah, so let's do that. And I'm going to use my art glitter glue, uh, just because I can do it a little bit closer to the edge of where it needs to go. Instead of the stick glue. Okay. Cute. And like I said, I've got this card, which is a coordinating card of this, um, but I can definitely stick it in this way um, with the fun writing to go with the king. I love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Need something down here, though. Um, let's find our small labels. Bonton corsets. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I think I might put that on there. Yeah. I might put that on there. But I think I want something underneath it a little bit. I'm going to snip the edges here and ink it, but I want to put underneath it. I don't want to cover that up though. Just something a little bit along the edge there. Wrap that around. Yeah, that'll work. I can still keep the number. Okay. All right. So glue. Keep the number. Wrap it around. white showing through on that side there. Okay, and this a little thicker tag. So I'm gonna use the art glitter glue on it. Yeah, that's cute. It has a little bit of color there around it. He's jumping for joy because she's wearing bon ton corsets. <laughs> Actually, the poem was about um, putting butter on bread versus marmalade. I was reading it. 
Now the king prefers butter on his bread. And they had to wake the cow up to uh, make the butter. So, yeah, very cute. I love it. Okay, let's see if we can make another one. All right. Okay, so we got this one. Now let's... Let's see, I have a smaller one of that. Let's see if it fits. Maybe do a little less cutting. Oh yeah, perfect. All right. So if I do that, that is not big enough. on there. Oh, you know what? This fruit is sideways. But I can do it that way. Okay. I'll do it that way. Okay, let's do that. Alright, so let's let's get this torn a little closer to the size it needs to be. Okay, so we're going to glue the paper this time <laughs> instead of this. I always say I show my mistakes. I do not edit like crazy, like I see um, happen sometimes. So it is what you see is what you get. Beautiful. I love it. Just straighten the edge off a little bit for the overlap. Okay. All right, and there's my page. So let's get rid of. human name. I think I'm just going to keep the, or do it. Nope, I'm going to get rid of this human name. I'm just going to keep that line. Yep, there we go. And I'll cut it later. And I'm going to, all right, I'm just going to get rid of this because this is great to keep for um, backing up a small journal card. Okay. Let's throw some glue. And open it up. Okay. Slide it in place. If I had some time, I probably would um, stop and measure how big the pocket was and cut the piece to the right size, but I don't know, sometimes it's just easier to make it a little too big and just cut the excess off. No harm, no foul. Yeah, that's cute. I'm glad I got that book with the music and the words together. Very cool. I like it. 
Okay. All right, let's round the top a bit. There we go, middle one. and ink it up a bit and see what we can find to decorate this. I'm actually thinking to, butterflies might be cool for this. You know, they flit and flutter. Well, lots of little flappy things there, but it's on the back, so I think it'll be okay. Won't cause any issues with something going in the pocket. And I did not do the Okay, I didn't do that. There we go. And look okay. good. Easily fixed. I like this one. Yeah, it's very cool. Let's see if we can find something to, okay, butterflies. I see some orange up here. Let's see if I got some orange butterfly. I've got some orange on it. You're a moth, technically. Ooh. Ooh, I like you. There's purple in there. I like you a lot. Okay, I have to cut him a little bit more, but that's no problem. Um, there we go. So as I'm cutting here, I just uh, um, also got some other news recently. My uh, son told us that he is finally planning on moving out on his own. So... Mom is a bit, you know, torn, like sad to see him go, but, you know, proud of him. He's finally, you know, doing, doing his own thing. And he's got some apartments that he's been looking at closer to his job. So he doesn't have to drive as far. Still very close to us. Um, but uh, it, uh, uh, so the sad part is, you know, leaving, but the good part is, I think I'm gonna have a craft room. It's quite exciting. Um, for that part, that part I'm like quite excited about because right now I am in my dining room. As they say, just hanging out, taking up half the dining room. So it um, it definitely is not the uh, most ideal place to craft. I'm looking around for something and put all this down there. I have no words to be silly because there's words there. Um, oh, I just threw... <laughs> I just threw a label out. Probably use that label. Um, what was I saying? Lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so, um, quite exciting going from possibly just a half of a dining room table to a full-blown room is uh, quite exciting. I am definitely looking forward to that. Um, so I was going to ask you all if you had some sort of, these could be fun, um, if you had some sort of thoughts on um, items that you really like to store your stuff in in your craft rooms. Um, any suggestions to some, I don't know what you want to call them, um, boxes, storage systems, things like that, how you like to um, keep your stuff in your room. Um, I would definitely love to hear some ideas of some of your best, best kept secrets, I would say, on how you um, organize your craft room or whatever you use for stuff. So. Um, yeah, that was, um, put that there. I like that. Okay. Simple, but, uh, yeah, that works. And I still will do that. Um, 
Yeah, so right now, like I said, I have the craft um, dining room table here. I am surrounded by kind of um, makeshift boxes and stuff where I have my things. I have one, one half cabinet, like an end, not an end table, but um, it's got a couple shelves in there that I can use. And then I've got one of those uh, kind of like uh, plastic tall rolling drawers, rolling drawers things that you, um, you put like 12 by 12 scrapbook paper in. I got one of those. Uh, everything else is just pretty much just scattered all over the place. So it's going to be nice to um, be able to get stuff and be able to ooh, rip from the butterfly, um, be able to use it appropriately. So I'm sure I was thinking about um, I will probably do a before and after kind of video film film this old version here. Uh, the empty space when I get it and maybe some ideas. So, um, yeah, so if you have any thoughts on uh, things you love to use, um, I would love to hear it now um, before I actually start trying to rearrange um, what I do. I love this. Oh, my God, that's so cute. Um, my brain's in 17 different directions, if you can't tell. Um, yeah, I love that. Well, I think I am going to stop since, like I said, my brain is going in 17 different directions. Yeah, these are cute. All right, let me show you what I got so far. Um, I think I just need to, I got too much stuff out here. It's causing my brain to hurt. Just causing, causing my brain to shut down. So let me show you what I got here and There they are. Um, yeah, let me show you what I got here. And now we can say farewell for now. All right, so ones that I did off camera, you can see up close a little bit better here. And then I'll show the ones we just did on camera. All right, still a little wet and curly. All right, so like I said, the fun floral paper on top. Uh, this one's got the butterfly, some more of that Florentine paper on there, and a label. My Danish book page. Uh, this one's got the lovely 1734 paper on there. Um, that Liana scraps. I'll link the digital kit um, for this on there. Such pretty papers on there. Uh, label and one of my faux vintage tapes on there. And then this one with the Liana scraps. And again, another butterfly and the Danish paper, and the ones we made on camera. So cute. Um, I do have one tag that was combined for the back of this. Um, this is really cool with the King Dancing. Um, get to use that paper on that, so. Um, nice tag for that. I think I might, um, I think it fits perfectly. I don't think I need to shorten it or any. Yeah, and then finally the last one um, we did with the Florentine paper and this pretty butterfly. Um, my stamped word stickers. Very cool. All right. Well, that is going to be it for me today. If you have not subscribed to my channel, um, please do so. A thumbs up on this video would be great. And again, any comments or suggestions you um, want, I'm always up to here. That's going to be it for me today. And as usual, I hope you all have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.